Hello students, welcome to the online class. In our previous class, we discussed that how silk fiber can be obtained from the silk moth. So, what are the process involved in that and why silk fiber, silk fabric, silk fabric is very expensive and not only that, what are the famous or popular places for the silk fabric is and now in this class, we will learn about how wool and fiber can be obtained from the animals yes let us see. So, sheep and goats, yak, llama and alpaca these are some animals from these animals we can get the fiber. Sheep, goats, Okay. So, then how this woolen fiber can be obtained from this? What are the process are involved in this? Let us see one by one. So, now the first process is that shearing. In that shearing process what happens? We remove the hair of the sheep. So, that hair is nothing but fiber is. Yes. So, in this process we use razor to remove the hair of the sheep. And when you use this razor, this may hurt the animal. So, to not to hurt the animal, we apply the grease, then we use this razor to remove the hair from the animal. So, in that process, it will not hurt. And another important one is that the shearing process is done especially in spring season. Why it is done only in the spring season? What is the reason behind it? The reason is that actually that hair of the animal it protects it from the cold yes and after the spring we can we know that the summer season comes and in that summer season obviously the temperatures are very high so it make it can survive in that season but after the spring immediately if winter season comes what happens if we remove the hair what happens it will die because of excessive cold and especially these animals they are available in northern states of India. For example, Arunachal Pradesh, Punjab, Gujarat, Rajasthan, Haryana in all northern states of the India these animals are reared in that places. So, that is why their temperatures are very low. If we if we done this process shearing process is done in the winter season because of the excessive cool they may die. But when we done this process in spring season and in the next season the hair of the animal will grow and with that they can survive easily. So, they will not die in that season. So, that is the main reason why this shearing process is done in spring season. Okay. In the shearing process we removed the hair of the animal we collected the hair of the animal then what is the next process the next process is that washing or scoring so in this process we completely wash that fiber which is collected from that animal so we washed in that because that fiber may have grease dirt dust included so while we are removing from the animal it may include all these unnecessary so that's why we follow the next process is done scoring or washing and in this process mostly we will remove the grease dust dirt from the fiber ok. We cleaned or we washed that and what is the next one? The next process is that sorting. What is the sorting? Sorting means separating. Why do we need to separate? Actually we got the wool and fiber from the sheep then why do we need to separate? because every sheep does not have a same quality of a fiber. For example, if you observe merino sheep and angora goat, these two have very soft and smooth hair. So, that is why the fiber of the merino and uh, angora they are very expensive. But if you observe the other animal like uh, camels, Camel's hair is very coarse and it is very rough. 
so that's why when you compare camels and merino sheep and angora these two animals they provide us very smooth and soft hair so when we are shearing process is done for these animals we have to sort out the fiber into long and short soft or smooth and rough so based on these factors we sort out the fibers the fibers which are long just we keep that separate and the fibers which are very short we also keep that in different piles of the bags and even soft and smooth and rough so depending on these factors we separate the woolen fibers and now we understood that first we collected first we remove the hair from the skin then after we washed it and then after the sorting process also done that means we collected the best quality of the woolen fiber from the animals and now what is the next one the next process is again it should be bleached why is bleaching sir because sometimes the woolen fiber may be because of the dust uh, grease uh, it may be in another color or gray color so to bring it to the white and to the fur white and color to the fabric we use again bleaching process in this bleaching process the woolen fiber transforms into completely white color and then after the process is done dyeing what is this dyeing already in our previous lesson while we are the how the silk fiber is obtained from the silk moths in that i said that silk fibers we add different colors to bring into the different varieties or different colors of the fabrics so in the same way for this woolen also even you may see that shawls sweaters these are blankets these are available in different colors around us so how these are available in different colors they are also woolen fabric only they are also prepared from the woolen fabric only they are available in different colors so that is the reason the dyeing process is the reason behind that so in this process we add colors different different colors to the fabric desirable colors we add it and we will prepare a fabric and the next one is spinning and not only that rolling twisting also done in the rolling process after dyeing it yeah here we mentioned one small one combing and cording combing also done why this process is very important is that in this combing process yeah in this combing process we use machines to comb the fur of the animal the fiber woolen fiber so why do we need to comb it because to make it very soft to separate the fibers very easily because after this process we have to roll it or we have to twist it and even we have to weave it into fa fabric so that's why this combing process is also important one and this combing process is also called as cording combing or cording and after that the collected fiber was rolled onto the reelers and then after it twisted why it is twisted to make it very strong to make that fiber very strong it is also twisted and then after the spinning process also done it spun into different weaving wait spinning so spinning process also <coughs> done and then after the last to here weaving or knitting as we discussed in our previous class we can use power looms or hand looms to weave this just like that so weaving and knitting also done and knitting woolen fiber is very easy because it can bend very easily so that's why we can even knit the woolen fiber with the needle also ourselves okay and then after after weaving and knitting process is done the next one is our woolen fabric is ready and this woolen fabric is used to, to prepare the shawls sweaters blankets so in these for these different materials to prepare that 
we use this woolen fabric and now we can see here what are the process that are involved in the preparation of the woolen fiber which is extracted or which is obtained from the animals and next let us see why wool is especially used in winter season why only in sweaters blankets why do we use this wool as we know that wool woolen fiber is nothing but the hair of the animal and why this fiber is preferred in winter season what is the scientific reason behind it the scientific reason behind it is that wool is a poor conductor of heat what is the poor conductor good conductor of heat let's see one example to understand this for example you are jogging in a park okay in the early morning and it is the winter season let's assume and there are two benches in the park one is made up of wood and another is made up of iron so on which bench will you take rest or will you sit after jogging on which bench will you sit either wooden bench or iron bench most probably you will prefer wooden bench why do you prefer this wooden bench why because it will not be very cool yes but the iron bench it is very cool in that winter season why it is very cool and why it is not why iron bench is cooler than wooden bench because iron is a metal and it is a good conductor of heat good conductor of heat but wood is bad conductor of heat it does not absorb heat so when you sit on the wooden bench you will feel that very comfortable you will feel very comfortable when you sit on the wooden bench instead of the iron bench so just like these materials wool wool also a poor conductor of heat yes it does not absorb heat what makes it to become a poor conductor because if you observe the structure of the sweaters blankets shawls you can see that spaces are in between the clothes that they have the air trap spaces in that cloth so in that air trap spaces let's assume this is the fabric they have a just like these holes and in these spaces air will be filled okay and in this space air will be trapped in these spaces and what is the use of this air trapped in these spaces because air is also a bad conductor of heat it is also a bad conductor of heat so finally here wool and air these two are bad conductors of heat when you wear sweater what happens for example let's assume your body temperature is 37 degree celsius your body temperature is 37 degree celsius when you wear this sweater your inside body temperature it will not reduce because the cool or heat it does not allowed by this sweater which is prepared from the woolen fiber so it is bad conductor of heat it does not allow cool or heat inside the fabric so when you wear the sweater it does not allow heat or cool then what happens your body temperature will not reduce your body temperature will remains same so that's why we prefer woolen fabrics in winter special in winter season especially and in this class we discussed that how woolen fiber is obtained from the animals and what are the other animals from that animals we can get the fibers and what are the processes are involved in the uh, preparing the woolen fiber just like shearing scoring sorting bleaching dyeing combing or cording spinning weaving 
knitting and the final stage is woolen fabric and why it is very special and why it is used in the winter season the reason behind it wool is a poor conductor of heat not only wool air is also a poor conductor of heat so with this class we completed this lesson we'll see you again with another lesson and before that prepare a chart or on the paper the whole processes what are the processes involved in this uh, woolen fiber woolen fiber in the preparation of the woolen fiber please make a flow chart okay so that's all for today we'll see you again with another lesson in our next class thank you